Yeah, no, don't worry about me, big guy. They're just dreams. Yeah, and uh, then I wake up and there's scribbled notes around me. It feels like I haven't slept at all. All right, I showed you mine. Now lay it on me. Dreams, nightmares, fantasies, your deepest, darkest fears. Let's hear it. Sorry, I just pulled up to the office. I'll have to get back to you on all that. Eh, suit yourself. The anticipation is killing me. I wonder how much I have to worry about oxygen. I'm also really curious how this game is going to handle horror. If it's going to be more the... More the, like, style of Outlast, or... It's probably not going to be Dead Space. I can't imagine that they're going to go first-person shooter with this. Okay. I just hope it's not, like, too many Elevator's jump scares. Not working. Someone must have borrowed a power cell. Declan, I'm heading up to the perilous rocky pathway. The power cell for the elevator is missing. Have fun. Oh, hey, just got an update from Commander Wilcox. Landing site preparations are underway. Also, she told me to clean up my shit at the comms tower. <laughs> she didn't want to scare off the new recruits. I like Josie. Uh. Wait. Oh. Cool. Climb button. Wait. Mars has way low, lower gravity. You should be able to just hop up that like a crazy person. No limitations. You mean no power. I do. But just keep going? I guess so. The solar panels are definitely desynchronized. I'll have to connect with my bio gauge to rotate them. If I'm quick, there may still be enough hours of daylight to recharge the overnight batteries. Okay, the Albright solar panel utilizes over 4,000 high-yield solar cells per square inch of this of surface space. Conversion, conversion ratio remains consistently optimal through an oscillating frame that keeps every cell fully charged. Okay, so where am I supposed to connect here? I am. Unsure. Not the random shipping container. No. Here? Oh, well, free oxygen. I'll take this at the very least. See, Mars doesn't have that much lower gravity than Earth, Wander. Two thirds less, or two thirds what Earth has is still pretty low. Like, imagine if you could jump easily, like. Okay, scan to connect. Okay, Lucigen class command console. S control console interfaces directly with the Lucigen series solar panels. The latest in Psycoil's line of next generation clean energy technology. Connect to the control rotation and receive output and efficiency readings from the linked array. Let's see, pitch. I'm good at my job. There we One go. Down. Push button. Uh. Oh. Apparently, so there, there's the manual version and then the then the connection version. Okay, and I'm pretty sure I can't take the power cell out of that. Okay, so go over to the next one too. Perfect. Muscle atrophy. Depends on how long they've been there. You don't. Your much, muscles don't atrophy who that much. Who is taking power cells from my solar array? Declan, who was out here last? Uh, probably Lucas on some errand for Volkova. Ah, they're always up to something weird. Creeps me out. I have never met a normal botanist. We. Uh, 
Uh, there we go. I guess it makes sense to have everything kind of battery powered. You'd think you'd still have a relatively central uh, power system for everything, but I guess not. I'm kind of glad to get out of the base, walk around. Yeah, it's nice to step outside, breathe in that non-existent Martian air. Well, there's that, but I can move out here. I don't know, spread my wings a bit. Like a beautiful dead Martian swan. Like a dead Martian eagle, thank you. I'm liking these characters so far. They're fun to listen to. I hate horror games generally because they usually have very uninteresting protagonists that, like, don't interact with anything or say anything. Or just kind of, like, dour and sad. I'm sure we're going to be dour and sad, but at least we kind of are sassy and dour and sad. Oh. I'm just going to keep the suit keep the suit on, just in case. Ah. Who's that? Who's what? I don't know. Thought I saw someone. Don't see anyone now. Let's just get this done. Why are there no power cells freaking anywhere? Reviewer, Declan Delapore. After 133 souls, primary mission is finally a success. Located a possible water ice deposit 36.8 kilometers east of here. Serrano crew will be notified as soon as they're within range. Investigations are underway. I see. But nothing has power around here. That's... that's bad. Uh... Wait, what? Where does it want me to be? Eh. That's going to be annoying at some point. We're going to have to worry about that, aren't we? What? What is the what is with the, the objective marker here? Or does it really want me to take the suit off? I am so confused. Where? It's like a cat. Because it's telling me to go in here, but then it's not. So we don't have anything in there. Or there. It really does want me to go inside, and it's not that I can open these up. If there's a power cell just sitting around out here, I'd grab it, but it doesn't look like there's one. Borrow it from the elevator? I... I... I guess? Feels odd to me. Because I thought we were coming here for another one. Maybe we get multiple. Okay. Also, why is this all functional if the rest of this place is unpowered? I have questions. Lucky I brought along a power cell. Let's see. Do we have more power cells? Oh, that's a neat looking laptop thing. Hey Declan, why don't you give me your password? I'm just gonna check out your browsing history. Hard pass. Okay. So I think we've done all of these, yeah? Did Lucas think I wouldn't notice something missing from my outpost? <laughs> Lucas Van Buren, employee of the month. Okay, so these are all new. So log 84. Solar panels are becoming a consistent issue. The power conduit logs uh, logs the dip in power when the automatic sensors stop working and shuts down, triggering secondary batteries. 
Manual calibration seems to work fine, and the panels turn and track the sun. Only remaining option is a coding issue, and nothing I can find in the manual helps with troubleshooting. Honestly, the extra EVAs are great for clearing my mind. I feel so cramped doing maintenance at this station. Looking out the window isn't the same as standing there on the sand. Even if I'm just scanning and turning knobs, it's scanning and turning knobs on Mars. It's real. And with everyone bitching about sleep issues, myself included, it's nice to feel like I'm getting away. Almost don't want to log the issue, but yeah, power might be important. Water sites. Tharsis, MC9. Ulysses, Coles. Okay, just a bunch of stuff. Fossilized plant material sample discovered in Quietude 3. De uh, testing required to determine Mars origin or particulates from a meteor impact. Thermal scans almost promising. Additional exploration approved, though distance a major factor. I am itchy today, I don't know why. If it looks like I'm just kind of blech. Just happens. It was warm out. It still is. Let's see manual calibration. Okay. No to Shane. This is Lucas. Seeing as the living quarters of this facility have become your makeshift storage area, I have placed a few of my own non-essential items in this space as well. I have therefore enacted a more secure protocol for the locking mechanism for the quarters in question. As you have access to the this location on a habitual basis, I have allowed you to unlock the priv privilege without password protection. I request that you please do not disturb my items. As even though they are non-essential, they are in fact, in effect, my possessions and aid me in my endeavors. Thank you, Dr. Van Buren. And the door is unlocked. Oh, so I can't just go between these freely. Let's turn the flashlight off. So what is this? Shower? Looks like a shower. Maybe? It's probably some kind of shower. Lab coat. Spare power cell. A lot of just random junk. That's a toilet. And a sink. Oh, so this is like a little bedroom. And like locker room area and like a little desk break room? Huh. You'd think you want to at least have this kind of separated out, because you'd think it would smell after a while. I guess if you keep it impeccably clean, I it might not be so bad. should grab that powering the facility before I go. Huh. Yeah, I guess we do have, like, a chest set here and a bunch of other things. I'm trying to figure out exactly what this building is used for. Because it effectively looks like it's just a small little side office, and nothing more. Well, doesn't matter. We are leaving now. Beh. The oxygen. I'm going to just compulsively stock up every single time we go by. Even if I'm only, like, down 7%, it'd be pretty embarrassing if I just, like, die... Die of asphyxiation just Shane, randomly. what is the situation at the solar site? Panels are out of alignment again. Until the Cyrano gets here, I don't have the parts to test. Can't confirm the issue 100%. All right, just so you know, anything breaks around here and I've got four Orochi execs on my ass. If you want to explain to them why a multi-million dollar piece of equipment is being manually adjusted every day, be my guest. But we have a mission and I'd rather focus on that, not fucking filling out paperwork. Copy? Copy. Not your fault, but after the Cyrano lands, no excuses. Get it done. Over and out. M90 Badger. Geological survey machine from Manticore's M90 series with mineral breakdown and terrain bypass capabilities. Runs on a modular power cell. Warning, engine malfunction detected. System lockdown. No power. Power up the digger to connect. Is there a reason to do this? I'm not sure. Tests. Looks like there's issues with this thing. Well, 
give me that power. We'll be fine. Maybe. Also, probably shouldn't screw around too, too much. Uh, how oh. Wait, son of a... Ah. I didn't see a button for this. Oh, there it is. I was confused. Now we go up, up in places. I need to get more oxygen. So yeah, I'm actually really con confused. Really interested in seeing what this building specifically is for, because it seems totally auxiliary apart from being near the solar panels, and that's about it. Don't know. Alright, one way or another, let's go plug these in. Now, it said there were three, so maybe, maybe there's a third set somewhere else, and that's where things get really spooky. Mundanity. I want to play a horror game at some at some point. Okay. Connect. There we go. That should do it. Hi, Shane. Uh, I made a bio gauge program so that you can see when Phobos is passing overhead. It, it circles Mars three times a day, you know, and um, it, it, it is required that everyone downloads this program. Um, I've already added it to your OS to ensure that y you don't forget. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. I think it'll really help with morale. Wow. Yeah, I think I hate the guy too. Where is Phobos? What is that thing up there? It almost looks like it's getting closer, but it, it's not. Okay, we're next. Because we know about these. Okay, so restore power to the base. Because I fixed all of these, yeah? Or did I not... F I didn't fix these, did I? The hell? Whoa, Declan, a whole section of the scaffolding here has collapsed. Oh, it was the witch! Or we had a minor quake recently. You know, take your pick, though. Well, still usable, so I guess it's not so bad. Okay, eight, nine, ninety. There we go. Declan, the solar panels are now calibrated. Heading up the hill to the conduit. Uh huh. I mean, copy that. Okay, so we want to just go back up here. I want to play a horror game someday with like next to no horror it's actually just mundane it just kind of keeps moving the power conduit is shut down mm. there should be a fuse switch on one of the sides like it's a good example i guess it's not exactly horror but like kind of stanley parable but you just go about your job and then like go home but like creepy stuff happens but it never like capitulates to anything like, your character is just, like, randomly saved, so you see everybody else having trouble, but you're just having a totally normal day for the most part. Looking good. Power should be back on. Because... Oh. Uh, Shane, I've got good news and bad news. Good news, I think we just found water on Mars. Bad news, it is spraying all over the greenhouse. Restoring power must have triggered the pumps, and I'm showing significant pressure loss across the system. Can't be cut off remotely? Nope. Oh, sorry, cowboy. This is a job that requires your hands-on expertise. All right. Heading back now. The horrors that space is full of mundanity. 
I have water spraying all over my greenhouse. I would not expect this from a new heart. Can't you just turn it off? I do not have time for this. You will fix this. Jeez. Who's shitting her cereal? The voice acting really is pretty good. I like these characters. Or hate some of them, but still. Normal work with the perpetual sneeze of anxiety. Well, maybe? I, I was... Yeah, there is that. Where there is this anxiety that stuff is happening. Like, you hear the occasional weird noise. Or I was thinking another one of, the, one of these horror games where you see the protagonist of the horror game. You're just not around it, ever. Like, what's a good example? Well, I mean, this game. You know, stuff's going to be happening and going badly. But what if you're, like, the one guy in the more remote lab... And so, like, you go back into the base or something, and uh, you go back into the base, and there's, like, goop everywhere, and you're like, okay, this is weird. Uh, I'm just going to go this way. And all the horrors are, like, on the opposite side of the base always from you. And so you see the other protagonist. It, it would be like, um, I guess an easy example would be Half-Life, where you see Gordon Freeman repeatedly. And you see, even sometimes through a window, Gordon Freeman fighting people. But you're just getting your job done for the day. Or you're just leaving work. Or like, you know, multiple different things. And so it's kind of this constant state of like, huh, that's really weird. I wonder when I'm going to have to deal with that. But you never do. I scratched my finger earlier and it's... Birdie. I don't know. This is why I don't like doing face cam, because you guys actually have to see me do me things. It's not great. I don't know how other people can do it without fidgeting constantly, because I am a fidgeter, and it is bad. Kind of like Viscera Cleanup Crew. Kind of, yeah, except for you're not even cleaning up the mess. You, like, you see the mess, you walk past it, but you're just middle management. Yeah, so Viscera cleanup detail, but more in the background. Yeah, so you even see the mess getting made. You see the aftermath. You see the beginning, the middle, and the end. But you're just this casual observer that's going around... Uh, just going around and having a totally normal, relatively normal day. You know, you're kind of like, oh, shoot. You know, I, I've got to bring these supplies over here. And you just see, like, you know, Gordon Freeman roll by just smacking around some aliens... But it's on the other side of a reinforced glass wall. None of it reaches you. Or, like, you have to take an elevator that's just, like, has several bodies in it. And you're like, this is a problem. And you get out and somebody's like, okay, you know, come over here. Like, get away from this. And the doors close. And then it's just kind of back to a normal sector. And they're like, okay, we need you to do this or that. And so you keep doing these very normal tasks that we are currently doing. In this game... And everybody else is, like, screaming and dying or out having a terrible time. Yeah, civilian simulator, effectively. But, like, mundane civilian simulator, while everybody else is just having an awful, awful day. And then credits roll. You go home, wife's like, how was your day at work? And you're like, eh, it could have been better. And then New Game Plus happens, and it's just slightly different. Hey, but only slightly. You know, maybe there's, like, headache. five scenarios. Yeah. I still can't shake that dream. Part of it was a memory from when I was a kid. Weird. It was the last birthday party my mom was around for. She left not long after that. Do you know what happened to her? Not really. It was big news when she disappeared. She was a big shot theoretical mathematician. Oh yeah. Everyone knows Dr. Newhart. I mean, I had to read engineering dimensions in grad school. All I know is the day after my birthday, I head downstairs for breakfast, and I couldn't find her. The basement door was wide open. It was the only place she could be, I thought. So I went down. There was a, uh, like a, well, she wasn't there or anywhere. We searched for years. Wow, I burnt a lot of oxygen doing that, apparently. Weird. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Feels like I'm back in therapy. Well, no better place to tackle your problems than from 130 million miles away, right? 
That was choppy. I guess the only thing I can think of that's even remotely close, and it's not really because it's completely different, but the game I can think of kind of like that is Yuppie Psycho, where you get roped into being a witch hunter, but... Oh, I kind of said I might actually cover that. Nope. Yeah, I'm surprised they let me do that. I'm surprised the character isn't like, hey, by the way. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go down, yeah? Yep, I'm supposed to go down. I'm so used to these airlock things being relatively automatic. But I guess not. Not in this situation. One second. Mike needs to go closer. There we go. That should be a bit better. Okay. Declan, the greenhouse is definitely in a sorry state. This has got to be fixed before the Cyrano lands. Well, the major issue is the water reclaimer. No, I'm reading it as offline. Work your magic. Let's go up here. I'm really digging the, the visual design for a lot of this. What? Oh. Like, future tech is one of my favorite things to see in games. Because it's just so interesting. Or eh, maybe not necessarily just future tech. Because I also really liked it in Dishonored, which was kind of alternate history pseudo-industrial fantasy tech. Let's see, damn, this, is this game chop and a half? It's kind of a mix of things. So my internet service provider is having some serious problems, so I'm dropping about 5% of the frames that I put up currently. It shouldn't happen on YouTube, uh, but the game is actually choppy in and of its own own right. Like, it, it does have some loading issues. Isn't that the Goopy Goops? That is the Goopy de Goops. What? I'll need yes. this. Grab the rest. Grab the rest, you fool. Absolutely need all the other bits. Oh well. All right, should be able to pass through now. I feel like just a regular wrench would work better than that, maybe. Okay, so it wants me to go. I guess this way. Are we? What? What the? Am I climbing up? Or does it just want me to go this way? It just wants me to go this way and probably down the hatch. Okay. Objective system is a little... weird. It's getting creepy feeling. I'm just waiting for something to go really, really wrong. I am, but I'm almost hoping that nothing does. That it's always just creepy, but we're just doing really mundane tasks. Looks like it needs a higher security level. Uh, Ina? What is it? The door to underground access is locked. I have instructed Dr. Van Buren to lock all doorways to critical projects. This is the culmination of my entire life's work. We do not want contamination. I can't fix it if I can't get to the pumps. That is an inconvenience? You are the inconvenience. Figure it out. That is your job, yes? They should have sent a plumber. What a mess. I gotta keep an eye on that steam so I don't get burned. I would space these people. Holy shit. Like, I realize that they're- Shit! Dr. Volkova? What is that? Like, I get it, these people are supposed to be absolutely brilliant, but I know... 
I think for the most part, NASA absolutely screens for like psychological instabilities and issues like this. I, I guess, yeah, it is just purely because it is a private company probably that sent all these people out. Or maybe, you know, space travel and space bases are a little bit more mundane in this universe, but like, no way in hell would I send people out that would have that kind of attitude to some kind of breakdown. Especially on a space base, where like, one broken window could kill multiple people easily. Like, if that's a person's attitude, like, I wouldn't send them at all. Even if they're brilliant. Uh, what is that? Yeah, NASA does. Because I know one, one of the reasons why, uh, like, a Martian uh, trip is such a dicey situation is because, very specifically, uh, you might go mad on the way. Like, the isolation in the cramped corridors. Like, I'm sure most people think that they'd be okay, but I'm assuming, like, over a year in a really cramped condition with very little external stimulus Ina, the entire mangrove root structure is contaminated. There is a viscous black substance like oil. It seems like it's spreading. It is not contaminated. It is changing, evolving. It's beautiful. It is reborn. This doesn't look right. Oh, constant interruptions. I do not have time to explain myself to you. I'd download all of Netflix and send me. I think I'd lose it with Netflix. I'd need a little bit more than that.